Hi everyone, welcome to Study Windows. Let's talk about chemical change. So what is chemical change? And today we are going to learn the basic of chemical change. Its understanding, its characteristics with lots of examples. So chemical change. Chemical change is the change where one or more new substance is formed and chemical structure of substance is changed. We'll discuss in detail. So what is the characteristic of chemical change? So characteristics of chemical changes are internal structure of the substance changes, new substance is formed, it is irreversible and the change is permanent energy change is large and mass of substance is changed due to different kind of losses heat light or sound may produce so chemical change chemical change means undergoes a change in chemical properties of a substance this is irreversible that means we cannot get back the original substance and in such a change new substance is formed and the chemical structure of the substance is changed let us take some example for better understanding so we will understand and explain the exact phenomenon we have already got the basic idea and we will discuss once again in details and with lots of examples. Burning mastic, making omelette, baking a cake, rusting iron, digestion of food, burning magnesium, dissolving magnesium oxide, reaction between iron and copper sulfate, reaction between vinegar and baking soda, rotting vegetables, these all are the examples of chemical chains. Now explanation. Let's start. Burning match stick. This is the match stick and this is the match box and we know the match stick make a friction on the match box and we get the flame and it burns so this is the burn match stick how do the burning happens let's try to look closely this is the sulfur this is the powdered glass which makes the friction and this is the oxidizing agent like potassium chloride oxidizing agent means the agent which produces oxygen but why oxygen is required because we know for burning this oxygen heat and fuel these three things are mandatory if any one of these is not present then burning will not happen so from the oxidizing agent we are getting oxygen this sulfur this is the fuel and heat we are getting from the friction of powdered glass. This all sulfur, powdered glass, oxidizing agent are sticked into the head of the match stick by some adhesive. And this is the match box. And if you see the side of the match box, it is having red phosphorus. And we make the friction of the match stick on the match box. And due to the friction, heat is generated and red phosphorus reacts with potassium chloride and this potassium chloride produces potassium chloride and oxygen and this oxygen helps to burn the sulfur here so heat is there and oxygen is there and fuel sulfur is there so so burning will happen this match stick changes into burnt match stick by the chemical reaction but we cannot make the burnt match stick into normal match stick 
so we have seen here the change in chemical structure new substance is formed and it is irreversible we cannot get back to the original substance and change is permanent heat and light is produced hence burning matchstick is a chemical change making omelet take an egg an oven and pan now we'll break the raw egg we'll cook it and we'll get the omelet so the raw egg changed into omelet we cannot make the raw egg from the omelet so here change in chemical structure happened and new substance is formed and it is irreversible so we can say making an omelet is a chemical change baking a cake take an egg some flour and some amount of sugar we'll mix in a bowl stir it and mix it well and we'll make a batter now we'll take a pan and we'll take a container we'll keep the batter in the container and gradually we will see the batter is changed into a nice cake so here this components change into a cake but we cannot get the raw ingredients from the cake hence we can say change in chemical structure a new substance is formed definitely and it is irreversible hence baking a cake is a chemical change rusting iron if you keep some iron nut and balls and keep in a place where moisture are there and we know oxygen is available in the air and after a few days you will see the iron and the moisture that is the water and the oxygen in the air reacts each other and form a new component iron oxide Fe2O3 which makes a brown coating on the iron it's a total new substance so this iron in presence of oxygen and moisture change into rusted iron we cannot get the iron from the rust so we can say change in chemical structure happens new substance is formed and it is irreversible hence rusting iron is a chemical change digestion of food how do we get energy Look at this various kinds of food we used to take daily. This is the foods and this is the stomach and we used to take foods through our mouth to stomach and with the help of acid and enzymes foods will be degraded foods will be changed into semi liquid and then it will pass through the intestines. we used to take protein we used to take carbohydrate we used to take fat now with the help of acids and enzymes protein changed into amino acids carbohydrate changed into sugar and fat changed into fatty acid and this all are absorbed in our body and we get energy So these foods change into amino acids, sugar, and fatty acids. But from amino acids, sugar, and fatty acids cannot make the foods. So here also change in chemical structure of the food. New substance is formed, and it is irreversible. Hence, digestion of foods is a chemical change. burning magnesium ribbon so this is the magnesium and we'll take a burning candle 
now we will bring the magnesium ribbon into the flame of the candle and we will see that magnesium ribbon is burning with the help of the oxygen present in the air and we are getting some white powdery substance which is called magnesium oxide MgO so this magnesium ribbon with the help of oxygen change into magnesium oxide magnesium oxide cannot make the ribbon back so there is a change in chemical structure a new substance is formed and it is irreversible hence burning magnesium ribbon is a chemical change dissolving magnesium oxide we'll take a beaker and we'll take some water and we'll fill the beaker partially now we'll take some magnesium oxide MgO we'll take some pinch of magnesium oxide into the water and stir it well and we'll take a red litmus paper and we'll take some drop of solution and on a red litmus paper and we'll see the red litmus paper is changed into blue color but why here this magnesium oxide reacts with water and creates the magnesium hydroxide and this magnesium hydroxide is simply a base and we know the base change the red litmus into blue so magnesium oxide change into magnesium hydroxide but we cannot change the magnesium hydroxide into magnesium oxide here so change in chemical structure happens new substance is formed and it is irreversible so dissolving magnesium oxide is a chemical change iron and copper sulfates reaction we'll take a beaker and we'll keep some water in the beaker and we'll take some copper sulfate a spoon with the help of the spoon we'll take some copper sulfate into the water drop some sulfuric acid into the solution to remove the impurities entire things will change into blue color copper sulfate solution then we will take one iron nail and we keep it in the solution for some times and we will see the blue color copper sulfate solution change into green color iron sulfate and a brown coating is on the iron nail so this iron nail and copper sulfate reacts and they produce iron sulfate and copper so here iron and copper sulfate changed into iron sulfate and copper so we cannot change iron sulfate and copper to iron and copper sulfate so change in chemical structure happens new substance is formed it is irreversible hence we can say the iron and copper sulfate reaction is a chemical change vinegar and baking soda reaction we'll take a beaker some vinegar vinegar means acetic acid now we'll take some baking soda add some pinch of the baking soda into the vinegar now immediately you will see a hissing sound because when we add baking soda into the vinegar there's a gas called carbon dioxide is produced and a hissing sound comes so this is the carbon dioxide now if you take some lime water in a test tube and pass the carbon dioxide into the lime water we will see the lime water is changed into white milky substance see it closely so this is nothing but the milky calcium carbonate 
here vinegar reacts with baking soda and produce carbon dioxide gas and this carbon dioxide when we pass through lime water so carbon dioxide plus lime water that is calcium hydroxide produces calcium carbonate which is the milky one baking soda vinegar and lime water makes carbon dioxide calcium carbonate but we cannot get the baking soda vinegar and lime water from the carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate back here change in chemical structure new substance formed and it is irreversible hence vinegar and baking soda reaction is a chemical change rotting vegetables if you keep some vegetables in open area after some days you cannot eat take an apple and keep in a air for few days and day by day it will be affected by fungi and it will become a rotting apple so this normal fresh apple change into rotting apple but we cannot get the normal apple or fresh apple from the rotting apple so we can say due to the fungi this natural apple change into this rotting apple so here's a new substance change in chemical structure of the apple and it is irreversible hence rotting apple is a chemical change you are ready for new learning and new session hope you have understood the session any questions please comment and thank you so much happy new year everybody do you like this channel then subscribe